almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is? If you force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? He's going to get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real... The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. 
Only a specialist would know what killed him. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're- You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're not sailors. Man. Oh, yeah? It's a sign. He's There's something coming. Trouble. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. Come on, you bastard. There's nothing for you here either. Beat it. You hear that? You build rats don't There's nothing for me. you here either. What did he call Beat us it. just now? I said you were a build rat. And even a... a box limpet. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la-di-da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Well, there is no. And the west is rough, and 
the wind to blow and the deadly people come. You don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a PI for nothing. Okay. I don't know what it's worth, though. But Mrs. Hawkins, she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Drinking anything else? That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hmm. God. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No, no, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. You like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly.
I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had the wing of the jolly boy. Have the treasure men fly. What you looking at, stranger? I'm just passing by, sorry. Tch. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. What a macabre souvenir.
From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office. But I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my way. 
So come back and see me when you've got something new. not sailors it's a sign there's something coming something real what could have done so much damage don't put that beast back in the water you shysters you're crazy they're cops they can't understand damn stupid idiots forget it nobody listens to us anyway that's no way to treat an omen oh yeah he's gonna get us into trouble you can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat them. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. 
Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Hmm. Damnation, I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you. Our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. 
peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live, our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. out, I'll have serious problems with you-know-who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even. And don't go looking there. this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. You 
You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. A handle. It must come from these old winches. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. I could use this old winch to lift the grating.
what? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. What's with you wandering around? We saw you. Go die. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way.
A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? This muddy alley is yours? Good for you. I've got work to do. I don't think that you've quite understood the situation. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? <laughs> I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening? I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business? What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink, and we'll take care of the bootleggers. I'll be back. Take your time. We're going nowhere. <laughs> 